Come on kids, let's enjoy learning with Teacher Eileen. Hi kids, how are you doing? This is Teacher Eileen and today we are going to learn about naming words. Naming words are nouns. Naming words are nouns are names of animals, persons, places, and things. We go to different places like beach, school, house, and church. Different places have different names. Therefore, naming words or nouns are names of places. These are the examples of animals at the zoo. Hippopotamus, zebra, monkey, parrot, bird, lion, tiger, giraffe, elephant, and many more. Different animals have different names. Therefore, naming words or nouns are names of animals. Different persons have different names too. Like kids. Patty, Mark, Rhea. Teacher, Teacher Yin. Sister, Sister Danica. So therefore, naming words or nouns are names of persons. These are the examples of things. Different things have different names too. Like umbrella, ball, cake, and car. Therefore, naming words or nouns are names of things. We have here more pictures. Can you name those pictures? We have cow. Bag Boy Park Church Grandmother Goat And Pencil Now that we know the names of the pictures, let's try to group them accordingly. We will put the names of the pictures under each column. In the first column, we will put the names of persons. In the second column, we will put the names of places. In the third column, we will put the names of things. And in the last column, we will put the names of animals. Are you ready to complete the table? Very good! Let's begin! These are our four groups. We have persons, places, things, and animals. Let's group the words below. Park is the name of place. Very good. What about grandmother? It is a person. Good job. What about boy? Boy is a person. How about cow? Good job! Cow is an animal. What about church? Well done! Church belongs to a place. How about pencil? Good job! Pencil is a thing. What about goat? Good job! Goat is an animal. And for the last one is bag. Very good! Bag is a name of thing. Let's read once more. The column for person. We have grandmother and boy. What about for the places? We have park and church. What about pigs? We have pencil and bag. And for the animals, we have cow and goat. And now, for your next activity, you are going to encircle all the animals that you see on the picture. Are you ready? Let's begin! Let's 
Let's see if your answer is correct. We have cat, lion, parrot, frog, and giraffe. Did you get the correct answer? Very good! Next activity, you are going to look for five persons and circle the names of persons. Let's see if your answer is correct. We have sister, grandfather, grandmother, a girl, and a boy. Did you get the correct answer? Good job! Next, encircle all the names of places. Are you ready? Begin! Let's see if you got the correct answer. We have Restaurant Houses Beach Church And Playground Did you get the correct answer? Well done! Now, you are going to encircle five things that you see on the picture. Are you ready? Begin! Let's see if you got the correct answer. We have Ball Pencil Lollipop Balloons And Bag Did you get the correct answer? Well done! Congratulations! Always remember that naming words or nouns are names of animals, persons, places, and things. It's artwork time, kids! Can you draw and color five examples for each naming word? Okay, draw and color five examples of... Animals. Next, draw and color five examples of places. Next, draw and color five examples of Things. Next, draw and color five examples of persons. For your assignment, paste the picture of your father or mother, then complete the table below. Write your father's name. Your father's favorite color, favorite place, favorite food, and favorite shape. I do hope you enjoyed learning today. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to hit like, share, and subscribe for more educational videos. Goodbye! Until next time!